Is it faster to drive or fly on a trip? Now, I'm not talking about the airport to airport distance. Obviously, the plane's going to win that race. You can fly in a straight line and probably flying at least twice as fast. And a long trip with a lot of flying would definitely be quicker in the plane. But a medium range trip, time you count door to door time, is it quicker to fly or drive? Uh, today, my wife and I are going to visit our son in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. We're leaving our home in Mooresville. She's going to drive. I'm going to fly. Don't ask. There's a few reasons why we're not going together. But I thought it'd be a good uh, example to time and see which one was faster. So normally, it takes about five and a half hours to drive. The flight portion uh, for me is generally about an hour, 45 minutes to two hours. But by the time I drive to the airport, pre-flight, tie down the plane once I get there and check in and all the things that are necessary, is it still really quicker? Well, let's find out. Now, even if you take the time equation out, there are advantages to flying. We all know how much fun it is to drive anywhere anymore. Get out of my way! Oh, would you move, please? Blinker? We don't need no stinking blinker. Oh yeah, that's right, you pick up the phone, you have to slow down. I think it's a law. If you're in the passing lane, you pick up the phone, you must slow down. Oh, oh, we're approaching the speed limit. We're almost there. Oh, we're slowing down. Please get out of my way. And you're more likely to hit delays on the road than you are flying. Road construction, accidents, just unforeseen traffic. I mean, things do happen in the air, but it's much more likely to happen on the road. So let's start our journey and we'll time it and we'll see which one is quicker, flying or driving. All right, first leg down to the airport took 49 minutes. South ramp with Sierra to be departing to the east. Diamond 526 Delta Sierra, Concord Ground, runway 2, taxi via Alpha 4 Alpha. Alpha 4 Alpha to runway 2, 526 Delta Sierra. Concord Tower 526 Delta Sierra, holding short of 2, ready to go. Diamond 6 Delta Sierra, hold short, runway 2. Post short at 2, 5 to 6 Delta Sierra. Diamond 6 Delta Sierra, caution wake turbulence from the opposite direction helicopter that uh, departed southbound there. You can fly runway heading, runway 2, cliff takeoff. Alright, runway 2, fly runway heading, 5 to 6 Delta Sierra. Army Copter 421, for exchange approved, have a good day. Army Copter 421, for exchange approved. Free case approved for 421, thank you for your help, have a great day. Delta Sierra, eastbound, turn out approved. All right, turn on eastbound, 5 to 6 Delta Sierra. Concord Tower 421 is pleased your airspace frequency change. Thanks for the uh, help today. Concord 421, have a good day.
Alright, so we're climbing up to our cruise altitude. I got the autopilot on. I got no traffic. Legion 970, runway 25. Nice clear shot. Alright, so let's recap. We had a 45 minute drive to the airport. Free flight was approximately 30 minutes. Um, engine start to wheels up was quick, I have to admit. It was about 15 minutes. Actually, 10 to 15 minutes. That's um, pretty quick. Sometimes that can take longer. But so far, we've got about an hour and a half. Altitude. So far, we've got about an hour and a half into the flight. Uh, we're climbing now, so it's not quite accurate, but about one hour, 45 minutes. Uh, we should bring this thing in about three hours or so, then um, three, three and a half hours, and a half hour I'll allow for driving to the hotel from the airport. So, based on what I'm seeing right now, we're going to bring this thing in about four hours or less. Driving is a minimum of five and a half hours, so shaved an hour and a half off on this, this length of uh, trip. And right now I've got autopilot flying, no clouds, no traffic to speak of. Um, pretty stress-free at this point, so de flying definitely uh, definitely is working out better for me. So a slight fly in the ointment to my timing run here. Uh, at Elizabeth City, where I was originally going, they have a 22-knot crosswind right now. And uh, we're about an hour out, so unless that changes, I'm probably not going to fool with that. That's a little higher of a crosswind. Um, there is an airport in Tint. It's about 30 minutes away. Uh, the runway goes directly into the wind, so I'll probably be going there. Oh, so, yes, I will get there quicker, but I will have a little longer ride still uh, to Elizabeth City. It's not a perfect, uh, not a perfect thing. Uh, weather can can factor into what you're doing. So driving, not, not so much, unless there's a, a hurricane or something, you probably won't alter your driving. But still, when you look out the window, and you see the view, nobody going slow in the passing lane, there's nobody talking on their phone and all over the road, that could still worth it. All right, so uh, about 30 minutes out from Edenton. Winds are 340, at 11, gusting 21. The runway is one, so it's about 30 degrees off the runway, so it should be almost a direct headwind. So I made that right choice uh, going to Edenton because uh, Elizabeth City has the same 340 at 19 knots, but their runway is a 1028, so it's about an 18 to 19 knot crosswind, which is still kind of the borderline of what I want to deal with, so we'll stick with Edenton. A nice headwind, and hopefully we can put a nice touchdown in. We'll see. With ten knot gusts, so we'll add about five knots to our approach speed uh, to account for that gust factor. Northeastern Regional Airport Automated Weather Observation: One seven three eight Zulu weather wind three six zero at one one visibility one zero. Northeastern traffic, 526 dot zero, entering left now and one, northeastern. Northeastern traffic, 526.0, turn left base one, northeastern. Northeastern traffic, 526.0, turn final for one, northeastern.
Alright, so touchdown at 1.45, took off at 11.55, so 1 hour 50 minutes flight time, that's right about what we North predicted. Regional traffic, Scott 291 Echo Charlie is over the top at 1,500. Northeastern Regional traffic, Scott 291 Echo Charlie, left tailwind runway.